Hey guys, today I'll be unboxing and reviewing the Dr. Bay Portable Water Flosser from Micro Novelty. I've been looking for something like this that I can take with me on a road trip or any kind of business trip, something that's very portable. They sent me this free sample to test and review, and although they gave it to me at no cost, I'm going to give you my honest opinion about this product after this. So according to the company, this water flosser removes 99% of food debris that gets stuck in your teeth by shooting high pressure water at 1600 pulses per minute. I'd be interested to see how it does after I eat a steak because I can get some pretty hard to remove meat stuck in my teeth. And because this is not a sponsored video, I'll let you know my honest opinion about this device. Prior to this, I was using a water flosser from Waterpick, which I also did an unboxing review for, which I'll link in the card above. That device has been working well for me for some time now, but knowing this water flosser from Dr. Bay is portable, it may lead me to switch, especially since it may take up less space. Anyways, let's get to the unboxing. The model they sent me was the GF3. This is the first time I've heard about this brand, so I'm not sure what the difference is between this one and other models. This model though is IPX7 certified, so it is waterproof and you can get it wet, which means you can also take it into the shower or even jump in the swimming pool with it. I do like the size compared to my water pick because it is roughly the size of my iPhone 11 Max. It has a six ounce water reservoir and you can easily adjust the amount of water you want to hold by either expanding it or contracting it. It has three modes for pulse, short, and normal streams with varying sensitivity levels from gentle to strong. But the sad thing about this is that it apparently only lasts for 40 seconds, so you don't have much time before you have to refill it. It has a rechargeable battery that lasts up to about 30 days on a full charge and uses micro USB to fast charge in about four hours. It also has a detachable tip, which can be rotated 360 degrees allowing you to reach all around your mouth at different angles. This costs about $40 on Amazon, so if you're interested in purchasing one for yourself after this review, I'll leave my link in the comments section below. What I like at first glance is that I can remove this pick by pressing this button, 
and I can store it safely in the dev device itself for easy packaging and transportation. How does it work though? I don't know, let's find out. Filling the device is easy. You just need to remove the pressure cap and fill it with water through the opening. There are three modes for this portable water flosser. There's a cleaning mode for deeper cleaning, a gentle mode for sensitive cavity or new users, and a spa mode for relieving gum bleeding. You can toggle through each mode by pressing the power button once. As you shuffle through each mode, you'll notice that the speed and the pulse change. However, the power and the pressure of the water seems to stay the same. For maximum time and usage, you'll want to expand the water tray. To test the strength of this water flosser, I'll use a couple of different materials. So as you can see, the pressure and the power of this water stream is enough to destroy and punch a hole in this tissue. It's also strong enough to penetrate thicker paper towels, which means that it can easily clean and push particles of food out from between your teeth. You'll notice that as you're using this, it also tends to make a mess. So you'll want to make sure you put it completely in your mouth and then close your mouth when you're spraying around your teeth so that the water isn't splashing everywhere. Again, with the amount of water that this reservoir can hold, you're limited to around 40 seconds per usage before you have to refill. So what do I think about this? I do think that this is a great product for the price and it also packs a powerful punch for a small device. And I do see myself using it both on trips and even at home. I would say though that the only thing I don't like about it is the amount of water it can hold. Having to refill it every 40 seconds just doesn't make sense. As well as the potential that it could get pretty messy using it as you saw in the example. Especially when the water reservoir is running low or you need to empty the water out. As you can see, there's still some water left in it. Overall, the product seems very durable and I'm excited to use it and I'll definitely share with you a follow-up in the next few weeks. Thanks for watching.